Hey, my name is Dustin Schlark. We're going to do an online tutorial today about smart board functions, just the basics of smart boards. Okay, first thing first, over here on your left side, you have a few functions. The one we're going to start with is the page. And when you have a page, uh, what you can do is edit this page to add more. You can rename the page. Right now, it's showing just a date and a time. But if you wanted to add more pages, you can add them over here by just pushing the arrow down and insert like pages. You can also get rid of these pages by hitting the delete page button. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move from this tool over here, I'll come back to this, and show you a few things with the erase. When you pick up the eraser, it's automatically going to take you over there. There's two ways that you can do it. You can simply just go back and forth and erase what's on there, or if you have a large section of writing, you can take your eraser and go around the entire part of what you want to erase and then tap somewhere in the middle and it will erase everything. That's simply using the eraser key. Now coming back over here, this right here is a shade key. At the top, the shade key is going to completely cover everything that you have written on there. So if you have maybe a quiz that is on your smart board at the time, what you can do then is, so the kids don't go ahead it, is cover certain parts, so maybe you want them to stop at number one. Come down number two, that way is a pacing where you can cover certain answers as you're going along. Okay, the next tool is just a widescreen version. So if I push the one that looks blue and has arrows pointing to the outside, it's going to take away my tool on the side and my tool on the top, so I have simply a big blank page. If I want to get this back down here, I'm going to push the one with the arrows going in. The next one is going to, to take everything inside my uh, smart board and it's going to basically minimize it. So if I take it, it's going to zoom out. I have just a minimal toolbar up here at the top so I can quickly go back and forth between a page that I have underneath that. And if I want to get back, I'm simply going to hit the same key. Okay, the next one is a split screen. So if you have two different documents that you want to compare or contrast, this is the one to use. Right here it's showing that I have one page. This page right now is blank. So if I want to get another page over here, I'm going to come to my page section, hit my arrow, and I'm going to push insert blank page. So what we're going to look at is the capture tool. It looks like a camera on top of your toolbar. And when you push this, it's going to give you a small box. You can move the box wherever you want to move it. And this is a good tool to look at websites and then take certain parts of that website and copy it onto the smart board itself. So I have a website ready down here. It's a page on Snoopy. You can see that the box followed. I didn't have to click anything to the next page. The first one here has uh, dashed lines around it. If you push this one, it's ready to take the picture. So if I want the picture of Snoopy, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start in one corner come down. When I take my finger off, it's going to take that picture, it's, just make, it's going to make that sound, and then I'm going to go back to my smart board, and there's the picture. And that picture I can manipulate too. I can move it. If I come down here, I can shrink it. You can even turn it upside down if you want to. But that picture is basically yours then. You do what you want with. go back to my page, the second one and the third one basically do the same thing. If I want the entire page and save that, I'm going to click it. You can see that it has lines across the whole thing. I'm just going to push it one time. It's going to save then that to my smart board page. If you want to take this page then and highlight certain parts of the page, it's a great tool to have for when kids come up uh, to find certain parts, uh, if you're doing reading strategies. Uh, if you push this tool up here, it looks like the markers. Over here on your right side, you have two highlighter tools. You can change the color. I'll show you how to change colors. Um, but if you just select one of them, and then let's say you want to find out who is the author here, you can go ahead and highlight those sections of that reading. That's yours to go ahead and manipulate. You can always go ahead and take that off, go back, push the arrow, and then if you want to, you can highlight that box, and then also delete that highlight. Okay, the last one over here with 
dashed lines and it has almost like a circular view to it is pretty neat. You can go ahead and take certain parts of that website instead of the entire thing or a certain box. So you can cut small pieces out of that website. So if I go back to my smart board page, you can see this is exactly what I've highlighted and I take that section. So it's kind of a, a funky tool to just take certain parts instead of a box shape. Next tool is a marker tool at the top. It basically does the same thing that our tray does down here. We have a few more options. Um, I briefly discussed the highlight tools over here. We have different colors that we can use. So let's say I pick up the red marker, it's going to automatically change to the red. If I don't want to use red, I can use this pink dashed line with an arrow with the red marker, and it's going to be selected as that tool. As I put it back, it's going to go back to my select tool. So now I can go ahead and manipulate what I just drew. Our next tool is the erase tool. And I basically showed you with the eraser, it's going to automatically choose a setting. Right now, it's choosing the smallest setting for the erase. And you can see that when you write on the board, that circle is the area that is going to erase. You do not have to erase that same size. You can choose a larger size and you can see that that circle has got much larger. The nice thing about that too is you do not have to use the eraser. You can use your finger once you've selected the eraser tool and it acts just like the eraser. The next uh, tool that we have is the lines tool and this basically gives you straight lines when you're writing. You can write with your finger, you can write with a pen, it doesn't matter. So for geometry, different tools you can use. You can also change the font colors as well as you go along. Okay, our next tool is a shapes tool. Once you push that, it's going to give you a whole bunch of different shapes that you can use. Most of them are pretty, pretty much self-explanatory. The one with the circle, when you start, it's going to start in the center when you draw it. Next tool is a shape recognition tool. So if you draw, most of us can't draw perfect circles, but if we draw a circle, it's going to automatically change it to a circle. Same thing with a rectangle, and if you draw a crazy shape on here, we'll still recognize it as something with straight lines. Okay, the next one is a magic pen, and what it's going to do is it's going to draw like a normal pen, but after a few seconds, it's going to slowly erase it. Okay, if you are doing a math problem or you're doing something on here that you want to record, this is what you want to use. It's called the fill tool at the top. It kind of looks like a paint can that's spilled over. Over here on the left side, you have a page recording. You have effects, too, that you can use for the page. Here's transparency, where I was talking about before, where you can change how light or how dark your um, marker is going to be. You have line styles here. You can go ahead and change different colors. So right now I'm holding the black pen. Let's say I wanted to use a teal color. I could change that. I could change the thickness. I could change my line uh, styles as well. The main feature here is the page recording. So if I wanted to make a math problem or I wanted to write something out that I wanted to save and it's going to play it back in a step sequence. So if I start recording, problem then, or whatever you're doing, you can see up here the page is still recording. You're going to hit your fill button again at the top and push to stop recording. It's going to erase what's on the screen. If I push the play button then, it's going to replay uh, what I just wrote on the smart board. Our next toolbar is for font, different fonts. 
usually uh, most people do not type just because it takes a long time. If I wanted to type with my smart board, down here at the very bottom, there is a keyboard. If you push that keyboard, it's going to allow you to type and you can change the font. But you can also type right from your computer. It's a lot easier to use your keyboard than it is on the smart board, but that's something you can play with. The next tool is a properties tool. It does pretty much the same thing that the fill tool did. Over here you have, again, your fill effects for transparencies, line styles for different colors that you can change your markers to, text style, and then your page report when you click to uh, record your page. Our next tool has different measurements, great for geometry, all different levels. The first one is a ruler. Here you can change, you push the arrows different, um, how you want to have to set it up on your page. You can also move it and center it. If you wanted to measure, you can change over here to maybe make a ray, and you wanted to measure the ray in inches. Right now we have inches. We can push the two arrows, and we can change the top end. i push my select tool first and I'll have millimeters then at the top where I can change it back. So if I wanted to use inches, I can just go ahead and move it, line up my ruler, and measure my ring. Besides the ruler, you can also use the protractor sequence, and that works just the same as the ruler does. There's also a compass where you can draw circles on here. Again, you can use different tools. You can use the shape recognition and still draw a circle. Here gives you more of an accurate uh, view of what the circle is going to be. The last tool just moves the toolbar up and down. You can see where it has the arrows pointing up and down. If you push that, it's just going to move your toolbar down to the bottom and vice versa. Okay, the last thing I'm going to show you today is some resources that you can get off of the internet. So if you push down here on the side, it looks like a picture. If you push this button, you can search for different items here at the top. If you have a lesson on language arts, on poems, poetry, you can type that in there and then it's going to search that for you. You can use the internet to search different sources or you can use for sources that are already on the smartboard software. To look online for different uh, lessons that you use for smartboard, you push the Smart Exchange down here, it's going to give you the website and you can look on this website and it's free search for any, of this, uh, any lessons that you're looking for. I hope this helps with the online tutorial, just basic skills of how to use the toolbar, and uh, there'll be further lessons on certain specific lessons in the future.